Hey everybody, Tim from Smart Home Mastery here, and this today's video I'm gonna do a short unboxing of this beauty. Just came in, finally getting decent audio in my home theater. The Marantz uh, AV10. It's their flagship preprocessor, and uh, I'm gonna just it literally just came in. You can see the tapes on the box. So uh, let's do a little unboxing of it and see what we got in here. All right, let's open this baby up. So this literally just came in. I ordered this and the Amp 10, which are, uh, again, Marantz's flagship preprocessor and amplifier. It's a 15.4 processor with a, another four individual ports, uh, sub-ports, sub-outputs. So it's got Odyssey, it comes with a uh, Dirac upgrade, which I was apparently supposed to be available early next year. Um, and then also the AMP 10 is supposed to be available in January, I've already got that ordered. So um, I won't be able to do much with this until January because I don't have an amplifier, but I wanted to get an unboxing video out uh, really soon on this. So looks like we got a box inside of a box here. Another box. The first one was a double wall box. This one looks like another double wall box. This thing is going to look so nice. I'm so excited about this. I haven't had any decent uh, have audio. Most of my speakers I have. This is a a 9.4.2 um, theater and I have right now only a 7.1 setup so my most of the speakers in my room aren't even active right now so I have two rows of um, surrounds which I'm hoping this has assignable outputs on it and I don't know maybe somebody out there will know you can answer me in the comments if you know if one of those assignable ports can be assigned um, a surround side so that I can feed both of them out of the same uh, without having to use a wire cable. So, not sure if that's possible or not, but if not, I guess I'll use a wire cable. And I think we have to do some something with delays. Or at least with the gain so that it doesn't have a calling effect. So let's see. So we got looks like we got a box for the manuals. Power cord. Odyssey microphone. So here we are. Let's make sure that you guys can see that well. Yeah. Paper, Marines, Marines sticker. Awesome. And the amp looks, uh, if you've seen, I haven't seen it, the amp uh, 10 looks just like it. Uh, same look, except for the a porthole actually is a, uh, a meter. So it's going to look really nice. I got my rack. Um, here, I'm going to take you for a little walk here. So I've had these surround, these uh, Atmos speakers installed for quite a while now and they don't do anything because my amp doesn't support Atmos. I have wide channels. I have my side surrounds, one row, two rows, and I have my back and then the back also has Atmos speakers. So we got a 9.4 with two rows of surrounds. 
So I actually need 15 channels. My LCRs in the front are uh, behind the screen, obviously. This is my rack setup now. I have just a kind of a cheap Sony amplifier in there now. AV receiver, I should say. Um, and that's an iNuke that runs my subs. Um, there's two uh, tuned, uh, ported, uh, custom built Marty subs <laughs> that are uh, have the 18 inch woofers and they're tuned for 17 hertz behind the screen. That's what the iNuke's for. And I, of course, my, I think you, if you saw me in my other videos, got the RS2100 from JVC. It's their new 4K 8K laser projector. So I've had a pretty good setup here for a while, just haven't had good audio. So I'm really excited about this thing. Let's take a look at the back. So as I said, we got, probably can't see it exactly. I'm moving in a little closer here. So we got front, center, surround, um, surround back, front wide, I'm gonna be using all those. Height one, height two I'll be using. And as you can see, these say assignable on them. I'm hoping, it's, if it's possible, maybe not, if I can assign a second, one of those as a second row of surround, side surrounds. And you can see here, four individual uh, subwoofer outputs. And my understanding from everything I've been reading and watching on that is like, um, once Dirac, uh, Dirac is out and available, it can actually tune all those individually, which will be really cool because I have, I'm actually going to have a 944 set up eventually. Um, I have uh, two, the two subs behind the screen and I'm in this island that I'm on right now has cabinets, opening cabinets in it for uh, actually three more subs, but I might just do two and then let Dirac uh, tune those individually. So that's going to be cool. Again, waiting for the amp 10 that matches this to come in. Looking forward to getting that um, in January. And for now, I'm just going to, I guess, drool over this thing. And I'm getting, I'm going to get the rack prepared. So I'll have some videos coming out about the rack preparation. And then as soon as I get the amp 10, I'll be doing another unboxing for that. And then we'll do the hookup. Uh, if you have any questions about it, um, you know, shoot me in the, in the, just in the comments below and I'll see what I can do to answer them. Uh, I haven't seen any too many videos on this, so if you have questions about anything, um, I'll do my best to take a look at this and answer them. But it's it's heavy, all aluminum. Let's go again, display. I guess let's take a look behind here. Not even sure how to open this. That's already open. Oh, that's cool. Like, even that's aluminum. So, this is, uh, again, this is their flagship preprocessor, and the 8 amp 10 is going to be coming with that's going to have 16 channels. My understanding is 200 watts per channel, um, and it can drive, I think, I think 70% with all channels driven. So, you're still going to, you'll still get like 140 watts if all, even if all channels are driven, and obviously in a the surround sound, you know, at most speakers aren't, you're not going to be driving those full. So should be getting some pretty good, uh, pretty good sound out of this thing. Cannot wait to get it hooked up and calibrated. Anyways, I wanted to get a unboxing video out, um, as soon as I could on this. It's still cold from being shipped. So <laughs> as you can see, my fingerprints showing up on it. So it literally just got in, um, a few minutes ago. So there you are. Thanks for watching. And again, stay tuned. Please subscribe and like the video. And I'll be, like I said, I'll be doing more of these once I get the, uh, the amplifier. And, uh, and also I'll do the videos for hooking it up. So till then, thanks.